We are two days out from Earth Day and we're getting an early start on an unofficial holiday by tackling issues surrounding water. Yeah, it's something that a lot of us admittedly take for granted. It seems like it's always there. You turn on the tap, the water comes out. Meteorologist Greg Fields kicks off our coverage today by looking at the drought that we've been facing here in North Texas for quite a while. Yeah, we do have that, that drought and, and drought is something that happens naturally, but we do want to start out going all the way back to 2000 and just look at the uh, droughts that we've seen. <clears throat> and some of those have been extreme too exceptional across the areas so the uh, on the uh, looking at this map here, you can see the uh, drought conditions going back to 2000. 2000 is right here. And then as we get into a 2005, 2006, we did get into that the extreme and exceptional drought. And then that happened again. A lot of us remember that 2011 and 2012. Again, extreme to exceptional drought. And then we've been kind of in and out of that from 2013, 2015. And things have gotten a little bit better. But you can see we are still looking at some periods there when we do dip into that extreme and exceptional drought. So this is over the past 20 years. And let's give you kind of an explainer when we get into these uh, drought conditions, the very dry conditions, when we have severe drought, we're talking about hard soil, the uh, high uh, wildfire danger. We've talked about a lot about that in the uh, burn bands that uh, we get as well. The wildlife begins to move into populated areas and we do have water restrictions during se uh, severe drought. And then when it gets to it extreme, we're talking about large cracks in the soil, lower yield crops, livestock uh, supplements, increased risk for wildfires. And then the financial stress really begins when we get into the extreme drought conditions and that exceptional drought, wide spread crop loss, extreme wild uh, fire danger there, wildlife uh, health uh, suffers there, algae blooms. We talk about that in the area lakes and uh, pool, uh, poor water quality as well, and then water shortages perhaps, and then agricultural and financial loss as well when we get into those exceptional droughts. So it's really something that we have to be concerned about right now. We are looking at extreme and exceptional drought in our far southwestern counties out over West Texas as well, and we are talking about some rain in the forecast. Will it be enough to put a dent in the drought when the areas that really need it? We'll talk more about that for you coming up. But now, Kara, back over to you.